Hi there, and welcome to C3 Integrated Solutions Microsoft Office 365 Tutorials. My name is Beth Trimmer, and today I'm going to show you how to use tasks in Outlook Web Access, affectionately nicknamed OWA. In this session, I'll cover how to access, view, and sort tasks, how to create, edit, and delete them, and some neat features of tasks if you've never used them before. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first. To access tasks in OWA, log in and then click the Tasks button at the bottom of the navigation pane. You'll now see all of your tasks, as well as any other Outlook items you've flagged for review, in the View pane. By default, OWA sorts your tasks by due date. Tasks with no due date are at the top, followed by overdue tasks, those due today, and then those due later. As you would expect, you can sort by other fields, too, by choosing the Arrange By button. For example, you could sort by importance so your high-priority tasks are displayed at the top of your list. Highlighting a task in the View pane will display the task details in the Reading pane. Or you can double-click the task to view and edit its details. Once you're done editing your task, just click Save and Close. To create a new task, click the New button in the View pane, fill out the details, and, you guessed it, click Save and Close. To delete a task, highlight it in the View pane, and click the Delete button, hit the Delete key on your keyboard, or right-click it and select Delete. If you've never used tasks in Outlook before, you might not be familiar with how useful they can be. Let me show you some neat tips. First, when you're creating a new task, there are a lot of different fields you can fill out aside from just the subject. Start date, due date, date completed, status, priority, percent complete. There's even a free text area for notes and the ability to add attachments. One field I find particularly useful is the reminder, which you can set for a specific date and time. It acts like a meeting reminder with a sound and pop-up window. I also love using the repeat feature. This allows you to automatically schedule the task in the future, whenever and as often as you'd like. It's great for things you do on a regular basis, whether that's scheduling a weekly review meeting or submitting a quarterly report. As I mentioned earlier, flagging an email pops it into your task list, which is a great way to remind yourself to respond to someone or take action by a specific date. By default, when you flag an email, it assigns a due date of today, but you can change that by right-clicking the flag and choosing a different due date. Once you've responded or taken action, you can mark it as completed, which removes the flag, but doesn't delete or change the email message itself. This is a very handy feature that can really help you avoid letting emails slip through the cracks. Well, there you go. Everything you need to get started using tasks in Microsoft Outlook Web Access. If you'd like to see our next tutorial about presence and chatting in Outlook Web Access, check out our YouTube channel. Or, if you'd like more information about Microsoft Office 365 and C3 Integrated Solutions, check out the links below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.